Hi there, Alec from Vacuum Spot here. Today I'm going to do a really quick uh, video on the DCA4 Dyson. Uh, we're going to quickly whip out the clutch and um, pop a new one in there. Alright, so obviously let's not have the machine plugged in and we'll just remove the cord off the back. Taking this hose off makes it a bit easier if it comes out easy because you can tip the machine up more simply. Okay, so here's the important stuff. To get into it we need to undo these little locking bits. Okay, pop our base plate aside and then we're going to use this uh, which is a belt lift tool. I got mine on Amazon. Um, I'm sure they're available all over the place. And it just lifts the belt up out of the way so you can get at the roller brush, move that aside. Then you lift the belt off the tool and you pop your fingers. If you can have a look down here, see how I'm putting my fingers in between these two parts? And what I'm going to do is roll this up both sides until it comes out. Now, over time, these teeth here get pretty brittle. So you want to be as gentle as you can and just lift that aside. Now the next little trick is to get this yellow cover off which on this side is your dial to change carpet and hard floors. Okay, so what you do is you pop the screwdriver in here just about a finger width above this arm, pop that in and lever it forward till you hear it click then you do the same on this side and then it should come off relatively easily sorry for all this chopping and changing there we go pop that aside now remove our u-bend gently these little latches here become pretty brittle over time as well and grab out our Torx driver. Now there are three screws, one there, one there, and one down the end of this chute. Okay, I'll just quickly whip those out. Hey, while I'm thinking of it, this is a really nice long-handled Torx driver, size uh, 15. If anyone knows where I can buy some new ones online, please, please put it in the comments um, because I've been trying everywhere and I just can't find one. I did find a really super duper long one from Amazon, but it's so long it's ridiculous. Um, this guy here, um, which is still in its packaging because that's just stupid. Anyway, so back to the actual job at hand. What we're going to do now, you'll notice here we've got two belts that's your brush bar belt, this is your clutch to motor belt. Just pull that off the shaft, and then what you're going to do is hold underneath here the body of the clutch, and at the same time, you grab the, this belt in two spots and you pull him up. Okay, so there's actually nothing wrong with this, I'm just showing. Uh, I'm just using this as an example, so let's say here's a brand new one, we're going to pop him back in. What you want to notice is that there's a groove, mm, there's a groove there, which is going to line up with this groove here. Okay, so we're just going to pop that back in, and then it will lock into place like that. Lift up your belt over the shaft and just give it a turn to make sure that it's running and make sure that's running freely too. Okay, now we put our clutch cover back in. Okay, again you'll feel it firmly press into place and do up our three torque screws. Okay, 
grab your uh, selector and this cutout lines up with this activator press him on now this same process as reverse but you just put it into place and then as you gently wiggle it put some downward pressure on it this way they really are quite brittle and then this hose I'm just going to pop that back into place sorry for cutting off the viewing okay since we're here pop our u-bend back on and now we get our belt tool again lift up the belt if you don't have one of these it is possible to kind of lever it up and lift up with screwdrivers but it's super hard so I don't know like I used to do it like that um, if possible grab yourself a belt tool lift it off again make sure that this can turn and put our roller back in Okay, that's it. I won't bother reassembling this because I'm about to do something else with it. But that's another simple tip from Alec at Vacuum Smart, Vacuum Spot. Both websites are ours, it's okay, but this one's for Vacuum Spot. Um, if this is helpful, hey, please hit the like button down below or favourite us or send a link out somewhere. Thank you very much. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Hi there, Alec from Vacuums. <laughs> Hi there, Alec from Vacuum Spot here. I'm going to show you a quick. Um... <laughs>